Hey what is up guys Prem Kumar here from PicoTech back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you 5 apps to improve your Android experience. Smartphones nowadays are being used by everyone from aged 5 to 95 or even from the age 2. So let me just show you 5 apps to improve your Android experience that is going to make your life much much better with Android. The first app you are gonna see is called Edge Launcher. Now what this app basically does is you can switch between apps much easily. This is going to help you in multitasking a lot. I, I hope this will be very useful to you guys. Let me demonstrate. What you need to do is just touch and hold the edge of your screen like that. Let me show you again. Just touch and hold the edge of your screen. As you can see here, you can see a bunch of favorite apps that I've kept here. And about that, you can see the recently opened apps. Even about that, you can see the quick settings which you could access from the notification like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, rotation and location. Here you have the app drawer, home button and the close button. You even have music controls here. You can play, pause, skip or do whatever you want with music. This app will help you to easily jump between apps. And let me just show you a small demonstration of how this app works. Let me go to Twitter. You can see my Twitter here. And if I want to go back to an app, just me just go by that way. It's simple as that and I can jump back to Twitter. I can do all this without having to hit the recent bar. So that is how useful it is. In the app settings, you can customize a lot of things. You can cite the launch mode by one touch or swiping. I prefer the one touch. In active side, you can choose the side from where you want to touch or swipe. In the edge activation area, you can customize the position, height and sensitivity of the edge where you touch or swipe to launch the menu. So it's much customizable. In the show or hide elements, you can select the quick settings. You can select up to four quick settings that you want to display in the menu. In the recent apps, you can select up to number of recent apps that you want to display there. And in favorites, you can select up to five favorite apps that you want to be in the menu. With that being said, this is how the app actually works, guys. So now let's look into the next app, which is called Flinks. Now what Flinks basically does, it helps you read the web smartly. I mean to say it can help you open links and manage them much easily. It helps you open links in the background. Let me demonstrate by going to Google now. Okay Google. Okay here you can see the Google now screen. Uh, let me just open a link to show you how it works. Let me click on that. Open with links. And as you can see this small bubble is where the link is loading up. It loads in the background. And once you see the logo, it means that the link has opened. It's ready to view. Now this works like messengers chat heads. While the links are being used, you can even scroll through your app or continue with what you were doing. Let me just open another link. You can open many links at a time. The number displays you how many links are open and you can keep continuing with your app while the link loads up. You can even switch between links. You can switch like just like messenger chat heads. So this, this option enables you to save links, the bookmark over there, so you can view them later on once you have done reading. So you can close it just by swiping down, just like messenger chat heads. And when you go back to the Flinks app, you'll see the recents over there, the recently viewed links. And in the saved links, you can find the links that you have saved earlier, as you can see here. So this app is going to be very useful for those using Twitter and all. Where you can open links. The next app is called Universal Copy. Now you might have observed that you might not be able to copy text from Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook or any other app. You cannot copy text within the app and this is where this app fixes that problem. Let me just demonstrate by going to YouTube. Let me open up a video and let me get some text. As you can see here, this text cannot be copied as it is. So what I'm gonna do now is enable universal copy mode and I just click on the text and I can copy it copy it to clipboard now I can paste this text wherever I want to suppose I want to keep paste it in Google keep I can go there and in any normal way I can just paste whatever I copied so this is how this app is gonna help you you can copy text from any app like Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube and this is going to simplify your life you can copy other statuses if you want the next app is called screener now there might be times when you want to take a screenshot and save it with your friends but why not do it in a different and unique way why the same old boring screenshots 
suppose you are in a screenshot challenge I've taken a screenshot now let me go into the screener app and demonstrate to you how this app works you have to select a device minus the one plus X so I would go with that device tap the plus button to select the screenshot it's not just for screenshot you can display any photo over there but its main use is for screenshot you can add some effects like the glare effect over here the shadow for the phone and you can even choose a background for that gray thing that you see there let me select I like to keep the wallpaper that's on the phone so that would look much better let me just get it uh, there it is let me crop it to the way I want okay that's done so there it is you can even blur the background so to make it look a much more minimalistic or whatever you call it it just looks good when blurred yeah there it is now this is not just for screenshot you can add any photo over there any screen of the phone if you're an app developer and you want to show your apps in the play store you can do this to share it with your friends you can find it in the gallery there it is yes just look how nice it is so this is going to help you screen lock challenge lock screen challenge home screen challenge everything the last app that we are gonna look at is greenify what greenify basically does is it puts your apps to hibernate that is it closes their background activity let me demonstrate how this works just tap the plus icon you see over there and it shows you a list of apps that run in the background and consume your battery. Just select whatever you want and how many ever you want. Now all you gotta do is hit the Z button and it goes to hibernate mode. As you can see many of the all of the apps that you have selected have been hibernated. Now let me open an app that was hibernated, Oyo, and it just works normally. So again if you want the app to hibernate again all you gotta do is go back and hit the Z button and it puts back the phone into hibernate and the app gets hibernated so that's it for this video guys if you like this video just go give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about these apps in the comment section and don't forget to smash the subscribe button stay tuned for more videos guys catch you all in the next one